welcome back again and <clears throat> excuse me I just uploaded um, the fall to winter haul and that's the tights and the sweaters and uh, right now I am about to share with you guys my ring a haul I am going through a ring phase because of all the sweaters that I will be wearing I won't be wearing that much uh, bracelets as much as I will be wearing a lot of rings. I still wanted to wear some sort of jewelry, but I didn't know what, and then I figured, oh, okay, rings will be fine. So I wanted to show you guys, actually, I'll just go ahead and show you guys the rings that I have on my hands. Um, this ring is a mood ring. I should, like, just take it off, actually. It might change colors on you. But uh, this is a mood ring. I got this ring at Rue 21 for, I, th I don't re I think it was $3.99. And I thought, oh my god, that is like the perfect ring. And um, the rings that I have are a lot smaller for my fingers. And the reason why is because they I want them to fit like knuckle rings. So I figured instead of buying the actual knuckle ring that would cost me like so much more money... I would rather get smaller rings and just make it work for me. This is another ring. I got this for a dollar at Claire's. Um, I thought it was really, really cute. And I know that the sparkle or the shimmer or the diamonds are fake, but it's still real cool to look at. And the reason why I'm wearing these two rings is because I was wearing my... Um, my blue crazy pattern cardigan today um here's another ring that i wore and th this is another ring from um if i'm not mistaken claire's and it was for a dollar and yeah i like it it's kind of a different type of ring oh my god it won't come off there this is a different type of ring. It like kind of stands out, stands up like <laughs> But I like it because it fits right there and I can still like bend my hands and I can still have function of my hands. Like I do the test every time. Like if I can bend my fingers, you know, it's not going to get in the way. Um so a lot of my rings are meant to be knuckle rings and not actual ring rings, which I don't know if that makes any sense, but um, I figured to show you guys the ring, the rings that I already have in my hand. Ooh, this one's my favorite. Um, this is a good one, actually. This is another ring it's a spike ring I got this from Claire's for like a dollar I think most of my rings are from Claire's I'm not gonna lie but I thought that was like the coolest thing ever um, like I said I'm gonna be wearing a lot of sweaters this winter and I knew I needed some sort of accessory but I didn't know what so I figured rings would probably be the best thing um, Here's another mood ring. Um, I don't know why it's blue. Usually when it's not on, it's not touching, f oh, it's probably because I'm touching it, but um, it's a cross and it's adjustable. So, it's just a simple ring. Again, I got this for a dollar at Claire's. They're trying to get rid of a lot of their rings. And excuse the nails. My nails are just funky right now. But, um, that's an old ring. Here's another ring. Um, it's like a two-knuckle ring, I guess you can say. It's supposed to go on like this. I have yet to wear this, and I don't know why. I don't, I don't know if I could wear it, actually. Because I, I have yet to wear this. But it's like a two knuckle ring, and I, I don't know. I just I don't feel comfortable with it. I don't know why. It's just a really weird ring. I got it because I thought it was cool, and it was just a dollar, so it was like, oh okay, cool. But it doesn't adjust or anything. It just stays like that. It stays that really weird shape that's meant to put two fingers in, and yeah, 
that's I guess that's how you wear it. I've yet to wear it in public though. I don't know. It's just really weird. Ooh, this is one of my favorite ones. This one. I'm not sure. Did I get this from Rue Twenty One or Claire's? I'm not exactly sure, but I know I I either paid a dollar or or two ninety nine for it. I think I paid a dollar at Claire's. But again, this is another knuckle ring, and I just wear it over my knuckle like this, and I can still bend my hand. Like, I can still function. I don't, you don't need to buy, like, thin knuckle rings or whatever. I like them big and bold, so. That's just me. This is another cross ring. And I thought it was really cute. I was like, oh, look how sweet that is. And it's adjustable. You can adjust it in the back. So cute. Oh, hold our way. Here is another ring. This is another knuckle ring. And it goes. Like, whoa. Here it goes. It goes either, like, on the ring finger over the knuckle, or it goes on this over the thing. But either way, it works, because it fits. All my rings are purposely small for this reason. And like I said, I only spent a dollar for it, so it's not a big deal. And... Um, if you guys are wondering, I know a lot of people, they don't like the fake rings, the fake rings that are not silver because they make that blue residue around your fingers. Little piece of advice, take rubbing alcohol, it has to be 100% or 99%, it has to be in the 90s at least, and you just rub in the inside of your ring you have to do this on your spare time, not when you're gonna, like, wear it. But it will take the rust and that residue off. So when you do wear it, you won't have that that bluish thing around your finger. Um, in some sense, like, it will, it will, um... If it's a cheap ring, like these rings, these rings are cheap. Like, the reason why I get cheap rings is because if it were to break or if I were to lose it, it's no biggie. It was just a dollar. Um, but I take good care of my stuff, so uh, I have, like, stuff that I've had since I was, like, in middle school. So that's... But, um, there is, like, these fake rings do not have a protectant over it. So when you do rub the alcohol alcohol in there, um, some rings will rust and some some rings won't. I know for a fact that the Claire's rings won't because I've been buying from Claire's for a while. So all you have to do is rub the alcohol around it and it will prevent that bluish ring around your finger. It works for me. Some people, it may not work, but it works for me, so... Um, ooh, here's a good ring. I thought this ring was really awkward and, like, huge for some awful reason. I thought this ring was amazeballs. And I like, I like it a lot. I think it's missing, like, a wood chip right here, but I don't really care, because it has character. And it was the only one of its kind on the rack. And I was like, no, I'm not going to pass that up. It's too cute. So, I thought it was a cute little ring. Let's see. Ooh, this one is a cute ring. Actually, I got it for this purpose. But it's a snake ring. It was a dollar at Claire's. And it goes around like that. And it, I, I got it small for this reason. So it just looks like a little snake on my finger. I thought it was so cute. And I got it for a dollar. It was like really, really cute, I thought. 
Oh, here's a good one. It is a skull with a like a heart with a skull inside of it. I think this one's missing a gem too, but I did that. <laughs> that was my fault. My bad. But that's that ring. I still wear it. I don't really care. Nobody really like looks close enough at my rings to really be like, oh, it's missing something. Um, this is, I bought this as an actual ring ring. I thought it was so cute. It was just a little bow tie ring. I thought it was just the cutest ring ever. And yeah, I thought it was cute. It's a little bow tie ring. It, I, I think that one was, yeah, that was the same price. It was a dollar. Um, I have a little angel wing. It's an angel wing. I thought that was super cute. And it's just, yeah. I like it. I like my ring collection now because it's like amazingly awesome. And just like the black ring that you saw, I got a gold one. And I wear this ring like a lot. I wear this like a signature piece almost. And I just like the way it looks. I love the way it looks. I love the way it fits. It, it's not restraining to, on my finger. So it looks really cute. I don't know. This one is the Jin. It's the yin yang signed one. And you can tell I wore this a lot because it's starting to show the copper. Uh, it's starting to get all coppery. I wore this a lot. This was my signature piece for a little bit. And I usually put it on my middle finger anyway. But yeah, I'm not flipping you guys off. I'm just showing you guys the design of it. It's really cute. I like the design on the side. And again, it was a dollar at Claire's. I just went all crazy at Claire's. I don't know what's going on with that. Ugh. I got to clean this ring out. Um, the spring is a, is a, is this kind of ring? I thought it was really cool. Spike. I don't think I got this at Claire's though. I think I got this one at Rue 21 and I actually got it for $2.99 because it was on sale and it was the only one left and I was like, oh, gotta get it. I have to clean that one though. You can, I can kind of tell I have to clean like certain rings because they're starting to get that really metal smell and I don't like that smell. Because they're fake, they're going to rust. And so in order to keep down on the rust, I actually do clean my rings out. And this ring, I believe this ring, I actually got from um, these rings I actually got. And they were a set. I actually got these from... Old Navy for a dollar. It was really weird. I didn't even know they sold these kind of rings, but this is like the three ring thing. I don't know if you guys can see that they're really apart. And I use them as like statement pieces, really. I will wear them like this. And they're really good statement pieces, especially when I wear like really big sweaters. I want my fingers to have something. And it's really cool. I like them. And of course, because I am a bit of a geek, I made my own little rings. And I thought they were really cool. Um, this is a ring that I made. I made this ring, and this one, really huge statement piece, this one, this red one, and this gold and blue one. So yeah, that is my ring haul. Comment down below if you guys like, and I will talk to you guys later.